sunny sands, either at the beach or the cafe or at Mr Whoops's shop. And of course, here we get to meet some really fun guests. So, you go puff, 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 puff. Like this one. We've never seen so many balloons in our life. And that's because she was a balloon modelling lady. And her name was Mrs Pufferbang. It's a doll! <laughs> oh, Mrs Pufferbang, that was tremendous! Oh. I think I might take up balloon modelling as my new hobby. Oh, you must have a try! Here! And she handed Auntie Jules her pump. Oh, fiddly boo! I ran out! I ran out of balloons to blow up! This was a disaster because Mrs Pufferbang had come to Sunny Sands to do a big balloon modelling day on the beach. Yes, this was the day of Mrs Pufferbang's Balloony Beach Bonanza. Now calm down, Mrs Pufferbang. We don't panic. We go to Mr Whoops's shop in Campo and we get some more balloons. Simple. Oh, what would I do without you? Come on, hurry. Grab the pump! Come on, quick! Quick! Now, where are the keys to Campo? Mrs Pufferbang went rushing out in a puffy panic just now with Elsie. She's run out of balloons. We're going to Mr Whoops' shop to get some more. Are we jolly good? I love it in Mr Whoops' shop. No, Grandpa, you have a little lie down, then you won't be too tired for all the balloony fun on the beach later. Oh, here they are. Come along, Josh. You know what Mr Whoops is like. He's sure to have little accidents. Mrs. Pufferbang is bound to need my help. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When our Grandpa shrinks, his magic can make things go. Like my cousin Jason's plane. And our Sunny Sand's train. And he can even make Elsie's Mrs. Ostrich fly. Which is really clever. Because ostriches don't fly, actually. But today, Grandpa wasn't going to travel by ostrich. He was coming with us in my pocket. So off we went in Campo to Mr Whoops's shop. And Mrs Pufferbang said, What if Mr Whoops doesn't have any balloons? And Auntie Jules said, Oh, Mr Whoops's shop is the best shop in the world. He's sure to have balloons. And she was right. <laughs> <laughs> More balloons, please, Elsie, in the storeroom. <laughs> Grandpa jumped out of my pocket and was watching. So, you twist it here, twizzle it there, and ta-da! Grandpa had been it's right. Mr Whoops was going to have little accidents. Have a go, Mr Whoops. Oh, 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 Mr Whoops! You bust your crown! Never mind. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> oh, how could I be so clumsy? <laughs> it's squished. You've squished my pump. I can't puff a puff a puff with a squished pump. I'm so sorry. I may have another pump somewhere. And Mr. Whoops tried to find another pump. I'm so sorry. I'm right out of pumps. Oh, no. Oh. More balloons. More balloons? What's the point of more balloons if I've got nothing to blow them up with? Now, we don't panic. What we do is get into Campo and go to the lighthouse and ask Mr. Mentor, the inventor, to invent us a pump. Brilliant idea. What would I do without you? Come on. Quick, quick. But Grandpa did not think this was oh, a brilliant idea. I'm so, so sorry. This is all my fault. While Auntie Jules tried to comfort Mr. Whoops, I managed to talk to Grandpa. What are we going to do? Mr Mentor's inventions never work without your help. Quite. I've got to get to the lighthouse. I think I'll go in Auntie Jules' back. Mr Whoops, you can entertain Josh and Elsie. I'll be back to pick them up later. I'm going to go to the lighthouse and the beach to check on the arrangements. Grandpa was just about to get into her bag when she grabbed it. See you later. Bother. I can't believe I don't have another pump. Maybe there's one out the back. And Mr Whoops went out the back to see if he could find one. And Grandpa beckoned to us. He had a plan. Pass me a balloon, Elsie. It's the only way. So Elsie passed him a balloon and Grandpa said... I'll be back as soon as I've helped out Mr Mentor with Mrs Pufferbank's pump. And with that, he set off on the balloon to go to the lighthouse.
Now, Mr Mentor had been hard at work. There you are, Mrs Puffer Bear. <gasps> A huffity, puffity, puffity pump. <laughs> <laughs> now, your balloon uh, goes on just here. And uh, we uh, push this lever up and down to make it up. <gasps> you are an amazing inventor, Mr Mentor. <laughs> <laughs> well, though I say it myself, Mrs Puffer Bear, I am a little bit remarkable. Mr Mentor <laughs> doesn't just invent things, he invents words too. <laughs> While they were looking, Grandpa flew in on the balloon and landed. It's time to test our uh, huffity puffity puffity pump, Mrs Puffer Bear. Mm. But then this happened. <laughs> oh! oh my goodness, I didn't know I had a balloon. In here, bother. <laughs> now I won't be able to fly back to the toy shop. Uh, a balloon, please, Mrs. Pufferbang. Oh. So Mrs. Pufferbang handed him a balloon, but when he tried to blow the balloon up, the lever was stuck. Oh, it's stuck. The lever's stuck. It won't huffity puffity puff if it's stuck. It isn't working. Oh, this is disastrous. There'll be no balloony fun on the beach. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Patience, Mrs. Pufferbang. <laughs> My inventions don't always work straight away. They need a bit of time to think about it. Grandpa decided to get inside the invention to mend the lever. Try again! Try again, for goodness sake! <gasps> and Mr. Mentor tried again and. <laughs> it works! <laughs> <That's ridiculous. laughs> but then something terrible happened. Grandpa was half across the path into the blue. Oh, a triumph. Oh, you truly are remarkable. Oh. Now you shall have a crown, Mr Mentor. While Mrs Pufferbang made Mr Mentor a crown, Grandpa had to find a way to get out of the balloon. And there was only one thing for it. He rolled it towards Mr Mentor's foot and stood at the nutty end of the balloon with his fingers in his ears. Oh, I love it. It's spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mentor jumped up and down all excited. And then this happened. Clever Grandpa wasn't hurt. He ran as fast as he could. But the only way to get out of the lighthouse was with Mrs. Pufferbang. So he jumped into her balloon bag. Thank you so much, Mr. Whoa. Mentor. Now I must go to the beach and set up your remarkable puffity, puffity, puffity pump. <laughs> Mrs. Pufferbang picked up her bag and off she went. Back at the toy shop, Mr Whoops was showing us a puzzle. Find the corner first, I always say. <laughs> we didn't really want to look at Mr Whoops' puzzle, partly because we don't really like puzzles, but also because we were both really worried about Grandpa. But then Mr Whoops did this. Oh, how could I be so clumsy? Gets back before Auntie Jules arrives. We can't go home without him. At the beach, Auntie Jules had been helping to set things up. It all looks wonderful. Just then, Mrs. Pufferbang arrived. Oh, this is the perfect place for balloony beach fun. <laughs> and is that a new invention I see? It is. This is the Huffity Fuffity Puffity Pump. Mr. Mentor is remarkable. I must get puffity puffeting straight away. Now was Grandpa's chance to get out of Mrs. Pufferbang's bag and into Auntie Jules's. Right, I'm off to get Josh and Elsie, then pick up Grandpa from the mill. He's been having a little die down, so he's all fresh for the balloony fun. <laughs> See you later. At the toy shop, we were still looking out for Grandpa, but Auntie Jules came back first. I'm back. The beach looks wonderful, and Mr. Mentor has made a pump. And it works! Oh, so <laughs> where was Grandpa? <laughs> Come along, let's get back to the mill to fetch Grandpa. Of course, I'll see you all there. Disaster! Oh, we oh, couldn't leave the toy shop no. until Grandpa was yeah. back. Can't we stay here and play with this? Yes, I love this. Oh, you've never liked puzzles, Elsie. But I love this one. Please, can I stay, Auntie Jules? Please. While well, Elsie please, pleaded please, with Auntie Jules, please, please, please. I suddenly saw this. Grandpa was safe. It was fine to go home. No, Elsie, let's go. Or we'll miss all the fun on the beach. But please, can I stay? Please, can I stay with the puzzle? <laughs> OK, let's go. Bye-bye. <laughs> so off we went, back to the mill on the marsh, with Grandpa safe in Auntie Jules' right. bag. 
Well, wait, Grandpa. Wait, can we load all of the balloon animals in Campo first, so we don't forget them? All right, Josh. Come on. That was a brilliant idea, and it meant that I could get Grandpa out of the bag. I picked him up, put him down on the floor, and said, Come on, Grandpa. We did! And what do we call it? Teamwork! Ah, oh, you're up. Are you all fresh for the balloony fun? Oh, I am. I'm fresh. Oh, I bet it's ages since you played with the balloon. It is. Ages. ago when I went to Sunny Sands. I had tea in a cafe. It was lovely. Oh, I've had an idea. I'm going to send her a balloon. I'm going to send her a flower balloon to put in her cafe. Would you like to learn how to make one? You would? Fantastic. So, for this balloon, we're going to need a green balloon. And we're going to need our puffer 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 pump. We place the balloon onto the puffer pump and we pull back and puffer 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 puff. And we let a little bit of air out. Perfect. Tie it up. And then this end bit, we need to make a little bubble in the top for our flower, for the stem of the flower. Now, I'm going to need your help for this. So after three, can you blow? Okay? One, two, three. <gasps> well done! So here we have our wiggly wiggly balloon. And we're going to make a yellow flower. Oh, Miss Smiley's going to love it. It'll brighten up the cafe. Pop them up all the way to the end this time. Let a bit of air out. Always give it a tie up. Hello. <laughs> and then we're going to find a middle. So we pull and push together. And we make a figure of eight. Oh, look at that. It could be a, a bow tie or a, oh, a pair of glasses <laughs> or a hair bow <laughs> or a the toilet seat. <laughs> Close the toilet seat. Give it a push. Hold it with one hand. That's the hardest part. Give it a twist. Lovely. Now this one I made earlier, we're going to place that in the middle. And we just twist it around those petals. And oh, look at that. Nice. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, that's going to look lovely in Miss Smiley's cafe. Oh. oh, I do hope she likes it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So, here it is one more time. Take the balloon, place it onto our pump, and pump it up. Leave quite a lot of air in the end of this one and tie it in a knot. Then twist near the end and push all the way into the top of the balloon. And then we get our second balloon and we place that balloon on the pump and blow it up all the way to the end. Don't tie this one, just let a bit of air out and find two ends to tie together. Tighten a knot and secure it with a second knot Find the middle, make a figure of eight, fold it in half, push it together and twist two petals to make a four petal flower. Then you take the stem that you made earlier 
give it a twist and place it in the middle of the flower. Just wrap it around some of the petals and place it into the centre. And there you've made a beautiful flower. wonderful children up there. Elsie and Josh. They are so sweet. Now I thought it would be nice if I sent Elsie a little present. She has a toy ostrich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her an ostrich out of balloons. <laughs> oh I do hope she likes it. Would you like to see how I make it? You would? Great. So what we need is a grey wiggly wiggly balloon. And we're also going to need an orange wiggly wiggly balloon. And we're also going to need a round balloon as well for his eyes. There's lots of balloons in this one. So we take the grey balloon, we place it on our puffer puffer puff, and we puff, 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 and let a bit of air out. Lovely. A tie. Now we're going to make three petals in this one. One, two, three. It's his head. Ostrich. Got quite a long neck, ostrich. We have a body. One, two, three. And then we fold it back again. Now this is his tail. And flip it through. Whoop. Like so, wonderful. Now this net is going to push into this bit here. Oh, careful. Just like so. Like that. Whoop. And now what we need is the orange balloon for his legs. Ow. <laughs> take our pop, 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 pop. We puff, 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 puff. And we need quite a lot of air in this one because we are doing a lot of ties, a lot of twists. So we're going to make a petal, give it a twist, tie that knot through the loop. And we're going to make a pinch twist where you make a small bubble like so. You fold it and you pull it out, twist it. Pull it out and twist it around. Twist it twice, make sure it stays safe. Just like that. Look, it's his little foot. Now we're going to make some knees. We're going to do the same thing again. We make a bubble, pull it down, pull it out, twist, pull, twist. Oh, fantastic, look at that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that through the body of our ostrich. Like that, look at her ostrich. Oh, Elsie's going to love this. So we do another pinch twist here. Pull, oh, twist. Lovely. But make sure he's got the same size legs. Otherwise, he'll be a, a wonky ostrich. We don't want a wonky ostrich. Make a bubble for his foot, a petal for his foot, and then a small bubble. And we make that as a pinch twist. Ooh. But we don't need this bit, so we're going to break that off. You can use scissors or ask a grown up. Tie it in a knot. So, oh, this is a gorgeous ostrich. I think he needs a beak, doesn't he? Maybe we'll use another bit of orange for that. If you had enough left over, you could use that part. But I didn't have enough. So I'll make a small little petal in this one here. Tie it through, make sure that goes through and then we don't need the rest of this. We break it off or ask your grown up. 
use the scissors. So that's all we need. We place it in the middle of our ostrich. Right there. Oh, that's a bee. Can you see? It's coming along nicely. Love your beak. Oh, he needs some eyes. Here's our last bit of balloon. And a puff of pump. We blow it up a little bit. Let's there out. It's really tiny. We need to cut it in half. He's got two eyes. And twist those two in opposite directions. These two eyes go in between this petal here. It's very tricky. Fingers crossed. Go through. Whoop. That. Whoop. See. Twist. Push it through. Ooh, fingers crossed. You're gonna go. Ooh. Yes. That was tough. So there is his eyes. I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a face. I take my pen. And I'm going to draw the eyes away. Oh, I love that noise. And there is an ostrich for Elsie. Oh, oh, I do hope she likes it. Now, I would say that the ostrich fly to Elsie, but ostriches can't fly. So, just might walk. Have a nice time at the middle of the marsh. <gasps> Goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Bye. So, here it is one more time. For this one, we're going to need a grey balloon and an orange balloon and a small round white balloon. We place the balloon on the pump and pump it up. Let a bit of air out and tie it in the knot. Then we make one petal and put the tie through the loop. Make another petal and a third petal. That's his head. He's got a long neck. Then we make a bubble, a second bubble, tie them together and then a third bubble and we flip it through to secure it in place and then we push the head back so it sits inside the body that's the body of the ostrich and the next thing we need are the legs pump it up let a bit of air out tie it in a knot Make a loop, a small petal, tie the knot through, make a small bubble, pull it out and twist, a pinch twist. Then we make another pinch twist by making a bubble, folding it up, pulling it out and twisting. And then we place the legs through the body of the ostrich. And then we make the other knee by making a small bubble, folding it over, pulling it out and twisting. Another pinch twist. Then make sure they're the same size. Make a loop. And then your last pinch twist. Make a bubble and twist. And then you can break off the rest. And there you have his legs. Then we need to blow up the five inch round balloon, make it really tiny, tie it in a knot, and you've got to twist them into two. Tie in a knot, and you're going to cut it in two by twisting them in opposite directions to make two eyes. Then we take our ostrich. We place the eyes through one of the petals. And then we take one more orange balloon, place it on the pump and pump it up. 
tighten a knot, make a loop, give it a twist, place the knot through the loop and break the rest off. And then these, tie the one more to secure it in place and this goes in the middle of the three petals to make the ostrich's beak. And there's your ostrich. Then we take a pen and we draw on his eyes. There's your ostrich. Ta-da!